Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Lynn and I'm Pretty Paper Craft 67. Um, today I just want to do some decorating and um, these were tags that um, were made for the Roxy's Weekly Challenge week number five when we did the, the narrow stamp tags. And so I've got these left now. I had about 12, but I've got, what have we got? One, two, three, five left. Um, so I just, I've, I've done all the sewing and they're ready to go. And now I just want to do, um, make them into some bun, um, not bundles, make them into some tags with some dangles. So I've been um, doing a little bit of prep work, work in advance. Um, I did a video on some, on some specimen cards that I had made and I've just I'm just using all this of oh, making all these little bits of embellishment and I'm just keeping them in this little bowl to have on hand and I just thought we'd make a bit a few more today and then uh, yeah decorate these tags so yeah this is what I've been doing I've got some little hangings I've got some tiny book plates that I've I've put some um, Oh yeah, I'm in frame, sorry. Um, that I've put some paper behind. Um, I made, I had these little, I don't know what they're called. They're like a little glass dome from Kaiser Craft. And so I've made some of those into hangings. There's another book plate. So yeah, I just, in the spirit of getting organized, I've just been uh, getting ahead of time and just creating little bits and pieces and then have them all ready to go here in this bowl when I want to do some decorating. So I just thought we'd do a little bit of these embellishes, em, embellishments first. Um, I've, got, I've got this lovely collection from um, Tim Holtz. His, um, oh look, I'm really not sure what the name is. They're like a little tile. And I've had this little set for a while now and I am nearly coming to an end. But in here there's these gorgeous little picture hook type things and they make these really cute little dangles. So I'm just going to, again, like I said, work ahead of time and get a few of those made. So um, I'm just going to pick just a couple of little bits, little squares that... You know, I do tend to do a lot of botanical style uh, journals and things. So, yeah, something like that. That could make a nice set. I also do love these photographs. Now, I'm not sure, have I got that lady? I may already have her. Uh, no, I don't think so. So we could... I'm sure I do. Let's see what else we've got. What's this one here? Oh yeah, we could do that gentleman. Uh, I do love the butterfly. And yeah, I'm just gonna put some backing in behind them. So let's do those three first. And uh, yeah, it's very, very easy. If you've got these little little picture hook hangy things, um, yeah, they, it, it really does make a nice, a nice little embellishment to hang off a bulb pin. I do like to do dangles when I'm um, making tags. So, yeah, they look really good. So I'm just going to ink ink around these little tiles. And then I'm just simply going to glue them all together with the picture hook sandwiched in between. Really, really simple. I'll just give it some ink. And if you didn't have any of these little picture hooks, this kind of idea would look just as nice with a um, eyelet secured into the top of it. And from that, you could thread your bulb pin or your ribbon or whatever it is through it to hang. So, so yeah, basically, I'm just going to take the two sides and, and face the white parts together. And, and then pop a little dangle in between. So I'm going to use art glitter glue for this. I'm just going to get my right sides and I'm just going to pop just not, not too much, but an amount there to get that hinge or that hook, whatever that's called, picture hook, sort of embedded into the glue. And I kind of 
What is this? And I kind of want to bring it to centre. This is fiddly. And it is gluey. But if it's not completely in the centre, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be too pedantic. And then this one here, I'm just gonna glue this side right to the edges. And then I'm just gonna pop that straight over the top like that. And then just give that a good press where that hinge is. Level it up. And then when that dries, that's a really nice little piece of ephemeral or embellishment. So I've got these three here, so we'll do the three. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> so again, I'm just going to put some glue like that. And grab another one of these. This one's got a triangular top on it. And I'm going to sort of stick that into the glue. And get it back into the center and then yep just pop this one straight over the top just like that and then I'm just going to pick it up to level it up Give that a good press. Yeah, it will seep a bit of glue, but that's okay. So that's two. One, two. And we'll do the butterfly one last. Just work that up out there. And again, just grab the glue. Put those two together. So there you have it. How, how easy was that? Yeah, a bit of glue everywhere. But that's okay because it dries clear. And because that's on metal, I can pull any excess away once it's dried. It is a bit of a fiddly job, but I really love the end result. So that's three little dangles that we've just made. That's the same as these ones here. And then when they're dry, I just just do a bit of stitching down below because I just like all those threads that hang. So they were simple. Um, and the other thing, what else was I going to do? Um, in this one here, I've got these longer pieces. Now, I think they were from a mystery box. I think I apologise, Sue, if they were not. Um, but, yeah, I made these kind of things with them. So this one's a ticket, and I've just backed it with something, and I've just put a little um, a little tiny tag stuck in between the two just for some interest. So I thought I might make two of those, and I've got two of these little tags here. These are just little swing tags that I've picked up at the $2 shop. And I ink dyed them with some distress ink. So, um, yeah, I like the way they're, they're quite grungy. And I'm just going to, these two are both the same. So I'm just going to, again, back them onto each other like that. They will warp a bit, these things, because of the glue. But once that's dry, they're all good. So with these, it's as simple as, again... I'm just going to put some glue down, just really to catch the tails of this little tag, like that. And then I'm just going to pop glue on this one. Oh, have I got it up the right way? Oh yes, I do. <laughs> That's good. I always tend to check things like that when it's too late. So, just, I don't want massive amounts, but uh, I thought this was empty, this bottle, but it must have just been clogged. Thank goodness, because I love art glitter glue. But now it's just coming out like a volcano. Alright, I'm just going to stick those two together. So they make, like, just nice little po insert pocket, um, 
pocket inserts, like they're a little bookmark or you know a little journal card. And again, when they're all dry, I'll just machine sew around them. And then that little, those little tickets, they look really nice when they're um, stamped with a number or whatever, a, a little something on them, a little sentiment or something. So that's that one. And I'm going to do the same with this one. Now, what's the right side up? Let's say that way. So once again, I'm just going to put a bit of blue here just to secure those tails. Like that. And the tails of that. Uh, now I've just got to check again. <laughs> I'm hopeless. Alright, so I'll just do some more glue here. I think my glue is camera shy. Every time I turn the camera on, the glue doesn't want to come out. Okay, so again, I'll just line that up. glue on the table and how simple is that it's just it just looks really lovely and they're a little bit wonky at the moment but again once they dry they um they become nice and and, and you know sturdy again and um yeah they make lovely little items to pop inside of of journal pockets um now my table's all wet Oh, I don't have a dry one. I don't know what I've got on. Oh, whatever tissue. A oh, piece of paper towel I'll do. Alright, so that's just the sort of thing I've been fiddling with. And I'll ink those up when they get dry. When they are dry, I should say, not get dry. Alright, so that's our two little lay our two little bookmarks, let's say, and we've got three of these little dangles. And then yeah, when they're dry I'll just re-ink around those. And I just thought, well, these are kind of that one I, I think I might pair with a photograph. But these are all botanical styles, so they will go nicely with um oh and this is another one here, this little book plate. I thought we I thought we might just might we might just put that one together as well. So basically I've just gotta kind of cut that piece down down to fit within that frame. I'll just take a tiny bit more for there. Um yeah, I wish I could find some well this is stamping up hob hod hodgepodge hardware. And I, I can't find it through Stamping Up. I've looked on eBay, um, but it's only available in America. And yeah, I'm going to be very sad when this little set runs out because it's lovely with all the book plates and the, the little hanging bits. And there was numbers. Like these are really cool too, these little brads, but they're numbers. So, so yeah, and there was little paper clips in there which I'm going to add to some of the dangles as well okay so for this one I'm just simply going to run a bead of glue down around the inside here just a little bit of that book plate and then just pop this um, this is the Tim Holtz wallpaper I'm just going to pop that inside and there you go it's like a little book plate isn't that sweet and that's big enough that you could stamp a little number in there or put a little sentiment or something like that in there. So really, really simple ideas, little things to do. And like I said, I just re I'm really trying to get this little bowl, chocker block full of bits and pieces so that when I'm doing projects like this, I've got bits ready to go rather than have to make all this stuff before I can do my tags. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to punch some holes, um, just sort of centre, like that, in these ones. Is that two or one? No, just one. Like that. Oh, I've just got to check, I've got low battery, so... 
hopefully we'll get this video done before it decides to conk out. And then the sunflower one. And I'm just going to grab some ribbon. I've just got some of this rust dyed fabric here and I really, I really like how it works with um with the these botanical styles so I'm just gonna rip a bit of this off somewhere and use that as my tie and we'll see how we go like that just cut that edge off So all I want to do, I'll go to the thicker end, I'm just going to cut a length and I'm just going to feed it through the tag like that, pop that back through like that and then I'll just grab some bulb pins. And I won't do these because I still want to do all sewing and bits and pieces on those. But these ones that are already made up, we're just, I'm just going to grab. <coughs> oh, my throat's so tickly. I'm just going to grab some of these things out now and uh, have a play. I just wanna... That's all my specimen cards. That's a bit of a stamp. Oh, I've only got two of those left. Huh. We might have to use those ones that we've just made. I thought I had more, but I have just finished a bundle. So, oh, there's another photograph. All right, so um, we've got some buttons. So I'm just going to pop on a button first. And I've got these beautiful vintage metal buttons that I really like to use on these botanicals. So I'm just going to pop ooh, that one in there first. And we'll put this one here, hanging there. And I think we might even pop in a specimen card. That one's someone got has got a someone tag inside it there. Or um, I don't know what I'm saying. Where I've someone around the specimen card, I've sewn the tag in place. But we've also got all these Tim Holtz bits and pieces too lots of these little ephemera pieces so they always look really nice made up into dangles as well so I'm just going to ink that one that kind of thing I'm just going to use my little hole in the cropper dial just to pop a little hole in that, like that. And then that can go onto the dangle, like so. Um, I'm going to put a book plate, but we'll have to undo all that first. Put the book plate on first, then the dangle here, and then this card at the back, like that. And then I just attach all of that through the bulb or with into the ribbon with the bulb pin and then just secure it up and there you go there's a journal tag and it's got a whole lot of little bits and pieces of interest on there just like that so number one oh, we got a little bit more of this ribbon here so i'm going to do this one now because i want to put a photograph on this one She's lovely and she looks a bit florally to me. That and that, and again, another button that could be nice. So, bulb pin, and we'll put a button, we'll put this photograph of this lady, which is backed onto a floral piece. 
And then I'll just punch a small hole in the corner of this specimen card. And we'll just thread that on as well. And then we'll pop that one onto the ribbon. Just like that. I just like them. I just think they add a lot of little little bits and pieces, a bit of interest. Um, now, what's this one? Leaves. I love the leaves. So, again, I'm just going to rip a bit of bit more of this material. Like that. I'll chop that in half. Thread that through here. And again, grab the bulb pin. Now, for the leaves, I really, I've got some of these same leaves stamped out, so I'm going to put one of those. I'm going to put one of these. And I don't have any more of those. Oh, I suppose we could use these ones that we've just made because I can always take them apart when I want to sew. So let's go the butterfly autumn leaf the butterfly that which is a paper clip and we need I don't even mind this big red label in behind it because it's got a fair bit of red so let's do that just need to ink up that label everything else has been inked like that and just give this one a touch more ink And then again, grab the bulb pin. Now, we're going to put this paper clip on. We're going to put our dangle on. We're going to punch a little hole in the top of this leaf. And thread that one on. And then we'll punch a hole in this label. And thread that one on. And there you go. There's another little cluster. Gotta check that you're still with me, yeah. Alright, now those we do we've got another leaf one here, it's a different pattern, but that's okay because we'll do the brown leaf with that one. And what else? What else? What else? I don't want a butterfly, that's quite pretty, but it's floral. Mushroom, let's go mushroom. So we've got a mushroom specimen, we've got the leaf. Um, we'll do a button. Oh, get a button. Oh, that one's old. And even maybe one of those. So I'll grab another bulb pin. And we'll start again. We'll put a, I don't know if I want that. I don't know. So we'll put our button. See what it looks like. Oh, yeah, that's all right. And again, we'll punch a hole in the top of the leaf and a hole in the specimen card and thread those on. So, I want the leaf first. And I just stagger it for size, you know, smallest to largest. And then that way, when it's hanging, you can pretty much see everything. And then we'll just thread our ribbon through. And then put the dangle on the ribbon. Like that. And there you have it. So I've made some more ephemera for my bowl, which I will go back and sew and ink and everything else. And we've got four tags ready to go. And it's so easy, quick and simple. And you know, I must admit, having things done in advance is proving to be a saving grace. So there you go, easy peasy tags um, from the Roxy's Weekly Challenge number five. And then I just, um, yeah, my dangles that I'd always put 
on most tags and bundles that I sell. So there you go. All right then, thanks so much for joining me. I hope everyone is well and enjoying their Saturday. And um, yeah, stay safe and I'll see you all soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.